Music plays. Campbell Hatton versus Jimmy James Flint. What a fight on the undercard of Regis Progray versus Jack Carroll. And I love both fighters. This The last fight was sensational. It was a great fight. I'm not a particular favourite, even though, you know, James Flint's wearing a United top and he's from Sheffield and Doncaster. I think he's just trying to wind at and up. But I'm actually rooting for Campbell Latton in this one, even though I'm red. Um, and I do believe, like, when I woke up this morning, I was thinking, and I saw the announcement and I see the stare off. I don't know, man, this James Flint's very confident and the last fight would show why. Now, when you take a guy that's really aggressive and game and nuts and absolutely up for it, as like Flint was and still is for the next fight, and knows he's a little older with a strong amateur pedigree, you're thinking, right, he thinks he's got at him where he wants him, and the clue was the kid hit hard. Not the man, the kid hit hard. That sort of saying, he was strong, but he wasn't enough. Now... I feel like both took the best each other could offer at the time and Flint got the decision on a unanimous. Now, Atten was controlling the earlier rounds and then Flint started to time well and the head movement wasn't perfect for Atten and he'd made a lot of mistakes, which he's going to obviously improve on in this fight. And the question is, who's recovered quicker? I actually think Atten. I think... He's very strong. I think the freshness is with him. I don't want to see him at a Greg's pasties, so you know, you don't, you know, you know, you don't really want to count him out. But opinion aside, when I woke up, I thought, I don't know, Flint looks too experienced at this stage. He got the last win. He did well. And I think he's took the best of Hatton, or was it the best? And my answer is no. I don't think that was the best. Uh, Campbell Atten, sorry, not Matthew. Uh, Campbell Atten that we've seen, I do not believe. I think it was a night where he learned on the go. He's never, he's no, he's not trying to be his dad. He's not, the, the box different. He's very, he's fast though and he's strong. And I think in this fight, he's going to have to do more with what he did in the first fight, but be a little bit more educated, but not walk on to any. And that's... That's a catch-22 because when you come out in the next fight and you try not to do what you did in the last fight where you blew yourself out, you could get caught early on, like trying to change too much. So you just got to make the, make the right adjustments. And I do feel like Hatton will make the right adjustments in this fight to pace himself more and be the fresher after round six. And if Campbell Hatton is the fresher after round six... Listen, it's going to be a fucking war and I can't wait. Respect to both. But I feel like Campbell Atten now, thinking about it logically, if it goes to a decision, he will get it this time because the last one was still close. It was going to the end. None were knocked out. Atten took the early first two rounds, but Flint turned it round after the third. And it was just a war from then on. But Atten was still pushing back, still digging in. It was just the gaps in the accuracy and just the over-eagerness to terminate. Obviously, because you're learning on the go, he's not professing to be the greatest boxer ever. He's not professing to be like his dad. He's learning on the trade. And I think recovery time is massive. He will be the fresher, I feel, in this second fight. Um, and I'm not just saying that by bias, obviously, because who wants a City fan to win? I'm saying that because I feel, thinking about it logically... I mean, both took a lot of punishment in that first fight and Flint is hella confident that all he has to do is turn up again. And I think that's where Atten's going to be different this time and he's going to have to be to pull out the win and I think he will just do enough um, as long as he's not too cautious early on because you could lose the round early on and then you're playing catch-up. But I do believe that if he gets through the first four, keeping it at a better pace than last time. I do believe that the later rounds will favour Campbell Hatton. This time, he will be a little bit more um, controlled and he will pick his shots better and he won't leave the gaps like he did in the first fight. And if Campbell Hatton has learnt from the first fight, which I do believe he will, 
then he's going to take him. And I do believe, I don't even know if it's going 12 this time. Someone's getting stopped. It could be a body. Both are susceptible to it. I'm going with Campbell Atten. I think it's tough. And it's a, it's a pick em. It is a pick em if you ever, like, the last one were close. I'm just going to edge Campbell Atten um, on a maybe round 11. I do think he's going to stop him this time. He's going to do what he couldn't do last time. And I know it was harder last time. Campbell Atten with a win for me, guys. I think he's going to take it. And I think. Like again, it's going to be nip and tuck all the way. This isn't like a one. Them, it's not. No one's going to dominate. It's going to be up, down, up, down. But I'm going with Campbell Atten, eleven or possibly twelve. And if it goes to a decision, I think Hatton, unless we get a cheeky draw. But I'm going with Campbell Hatton on this one. I think you should always go with a younger, fresh, the fighter who, you know, he did get punished in the last fight a lot, but he was learning. This time, he's got time to develop. It's quick turnaround, and Flint will be ready, but I think he would have liked to have moved on. And having to defend his title again, the ticket's irrelevant, and the, the talk, and, you know, he's confident, and he's trying to wind that one up. But I think deep down he knows that Atten's euphemism led to his mistakes in the first fight. It's going to be different this time. Peace. Repeat our revenge. Revenge. Get your comments in.